You would think everyone wants to live in a mansion. It's the dream, right? Well, no matter how cheap they get, there are some mansions nobody will take. From a mansion that costs only $10 with an intriguing catch, to the haunted house belonging to the Schweppes Soda Company, these are famous mansions no one wants to buy for any price. Let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 10. The $10 Mansion. Okay, brace yourself. This is a, uh, this is a weird one. This historic New Jersey home costs a measly $10. That's no joke. This gorgeous and huge mansion will set you back less than the average cinema ticket. Coming in at 4,000 square feet in size with six bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, it's not short of the bargain of the century, but there's quite the catch. You see, not only do you have to move into it, you have to move it. That's right, if you buy this house, you have to move it. This one's gonna take some explaining, isn't it? Here we go. The home was designed by fame architect Dudley S. Van Antwerp, and any of his work at any price would be a steal for anyone looking to invest in property. But with this particular house, there's an intriguing issue. The town's planning board approved a subdivision for the land the home is on. In layman's terms, as a condition of owning the home, you must literally pick up the house and move it to a new location. Yeah. According to town officials, responsibility for movement of the home would fall onto the buyer. While 10 bucks for a mansion may seem remarkably cheap, there's a whole lot of other issues to take into consideration. Firstly, unless you've got the strength of the Hulk, you're gonna have to pay movers to move the house for you. Secondly, you're gonna have to own the land you're moving it to, and if you don't own land, that means buying land. And land is not cheap. Number 9. Blood on the Walls you might think that a gorgeous Victorian-style mansion would have been quickly swept up once it was put on the market. With no less than five bedrooms, a garden with two acres, and boasting beautiful architecture, there's not much to complain about. However, once you know what's happened here, you are less attracted. Unless you've got a thing for murder, I guess. The rather macabre reason why nobody wanted to buy this luxurious manor is, you guessed it, a horrific murder. Lawyer Christopher Lumsden knifed his wife Allison over 30 times. The mansion was left to collapse into disarray, making it even less desirable than it already was. A murder site and badly kept? No thanks. Number 8. The Home of Conrad Aiken Conrad Aiken was an American writer whose work included short stories, novels, a play, and perhaps most notably, lauded poems. But his personal life comes with a dark ingredient. Conrad's father was far from emotionally stable and became notorious for refusing to answer the simple question, how are you, without a lawyer present. Eventually, Conrad's father finally lost all control. Young Aiken was sat in bed listening to his parents argue through the walls. That was standard, he was used to it. But suddenly, there was the bang of a gunshot, swiftly followed by another. Conrad raced into his parents' bedroom to find that, in a fit of rage, his father had murdered his wife and then himself, leaving Conrad an orphan in the process. Ever since, the beautiful house they lived in has stayed empty. No matter how low the price drops, it will also be the house where Conrad Aiken's father murdered his wife and then committed suicide. That's a tricky image to shake. Number 7. The Watcher House No, this isn't where Giles from Buffy the Vampire Slayer lives. Though the house in question does have a spooky history that means it could fit right in as a story of the week in an episode of Buffy. A family in New Jersey bought the new home. It should have been a happy time, but before they had the chance to move in, they started receiving anonymous letters from someone calling themselves The Watcher. The letter said the following, My grandfather watched the house in the 1920s and my father watched it in the 1960s. It is now my time. Do you know the history of the house? Do you know what lies within the walls of 657 Boulevard, the letter read? Do you need to fill the house with the young blood I requested? Better for me. The family could never bring themselves to move in, because similarly disturbing letters just kept coming. Six months after buying, they were, rather understandably, too scared to move in, so they decided to try and sell. But the legend of the Watcher had spread like wildfire. Nobody dared mess with whomever it was who was sending the letters. No matter how great of a mansion it was, nobody would bite. The asking price of the mansion just kept getting lower and lower. Number 6. Schwepp Mansion The Schwepp Mansion is one of the most beautiful mansions you will ever see. Almost anyone would consider it, at least from an aesthetic standpoint, the absolute dream home. 
It has everything a buyer could dream of in a lavish home. Spectacular views of Lake Michigan, detailed old world architecture. The list of positives goes on and on. Hardwood floors, a ballroom, a library, an elevator, nine fireplaces. But it has a pretty serious reputation for being haunted. And we don't mean, I think I saw a ghost there once kind of haunted. We mean is generally considered one of the most haunted buildings in America kind of haunted. Located on Mayflower Road in Lake Forest, it was given as a gift to Laura and Charles Schwepp of the Schwepp Soda Company as a wedding present from former Marshall Field Chairman John G. Shedd, Laura's father. It was designed by the architect Frederick Wainwright Perkins, but eventually, tragedy would strike. In 1937, Laura passed away of natural causes in the home. Not long after, in 1941, Charles committed suicide in the mansion, leaving a note that simply read, I've been awake all night. It's terrible. Stories that Schweppes still haunts the halls of the mansion have gripped the imaginations of the locals with such intensity that now, no matter how much the price gets dropped, nobody will buy the mansion. At present, it's $9.45 million, which is a significant drop from its initial asking price of $18 million, but it just keeps dropping. Number 5. The Priestly House this lavish home in Canton, Mississippi is another that struggles with the legacy of apparently being haunted. The home is for sale for $699,000 and has a music room, a study, a butler's pantry, screened-in porch, a swimming pool, hardwood floors, and several fireplaces. But none of that matters when potential buyers are convinced a murderous ghost will be their new roommate. The seven-bedroom, four-bathroom, charming Forge Mansion was built in two phases, in 1749 and 1784, and was restored in 1994. According to the Reading, Pennsylvania Eagle, the home has been the subject of ghost stories for decades. The resident phantoms include a heartbroken young woman waiting for her sweetheart to return from seeking his fortune. Her sweetheart haunts the road leading up to the mansion, where he died when he was thrown from his horse as he tried to return to her. The home is also rumored to have been built on a Native American burial ground, upping the property's fear factor. Number 4. The Ann Starrett Mansion this mansion was built in 1889 by contractor George Starrett as a gift for his wife, Anne. It's been a bed and breakfast and a boutique hotel, but is now being sold as a home. But just like the last few entries on our list, ghost stories have tarnished the reputation of this potential dream home. Guest reviews mention wardrobes opening on their own and the sound of footsteps on the floorboards. Other rumored paranormal activity includes the appearance of a welcoming red-headed woman who may be Anne Starrett herself, and an apparition called The Nanny who appears in a mirror in a second room floor, glides up the stairs, and occasionally interacts with guests. With 11 bedrooms, 6 bathrooms, a spiral staircase, and hardwood floors, it's an absolute steal at $850,000. But as long as nobody will buy it, thanks to ghosts, it'll just keep on dropping. Number 3. The 50 Cent Mansion So, uh, to clarify, this isn't a mansion that only costs 50 cents, because if it was, it would have no trouble selling. I mean, even if you had to move it, like the $10 mansion we mentioned earlier, that saving of $9.50 makes it seem worth it. No, this is a mansion that is owned by the rapper 50 Cent. That should be an easy sell, right? Uh, there's gotta be some rich hip-hop fan somewhere that would buy it so we could say, Hey, look at me, I own 50 cents old house. The reason why this mansion just won't sell is because it is way too big. With 21 bedrooms, not even the richest of the rich care. Even the most extravagant billionaires out there aren't willing to buy a house that big when they're gonna have no use for all the rooms. Who has 20 children? When it first went on the market, it was $18.5 million. Then it dropped to $8.5 million. Now it's $6 million. I mean, look. I'm no retail expert, but it kind of feels like this mansion needs to be converted into a hotel or resort or maybe even a fancy homeless shelter. 50 Cent keeps holding out that he'll one day meet a 21-member family with a few million they're willing to drop, and it just isn't gonna happen. Number 2. 1875 Victorian Mansion In 1875, the renowned chair manufacturer Sylvester K. Pierce decided to try something a wee bit different with his creative output, a bit like when an actor randomly releases an album, and he designed and built a house. 
It's a beautiful 10-bed mansion which, considering the size and era of construction, should be worth a bomb. It's got 6,661 square feet of living space. This should be a dreamy home for many, right? It's even situated in Gardner, Massachusetts, which is renowned for its low crime rate. Well, there's a pretty major catch. A catch you've been hearing about a lot on this list. The whole people think it's haunted thing. That number of square feet, 6,661, it would prove to be ominously prophetic. Since its construction, the house has courted darkness, with seven murders taking place within its walls, including the strangulation of a sex worker. The price keeps being slashed and slashed over and over, but still, there are no takers. The history is simply too heavy. Officially considered one of the most haunted places in the world, this huge home is currently only $329,000, the price of an average three-bedroom home. Number 1. Neverland Ranch Michael Jackson leaves behind a rather tricky legacy. It should go without saying that it's hard to get anyone to buy his old home. Once listed at $100 million, it's now down to just $31 million. There are five bedrooms in the main house, but that's just one of 22 structures spread across the 2,700-acre estate. The rest includes a 50-seat movie theater, fire station, railway station, and railway track, train not included, lagoon-style swimming pool, outhouses, and tennis courts. For 31 million bucks, that's one heck of a bargain, but the legacy is too tainted. Do you mind if a nice house is suspected of being haunted, or are you too skeptic to care? And would you willingly move into the $10 mansion? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.